Rise and shine, Master. The sun is already very high. I've already finished everything you've requested for me to do this morning. I made sure to prepare everything in perfection, just like how you like them. I've steamed your favorite suit and tie. After all, it's your first day of work as a new chief executive officer of your family's toy company. I'm really so proud of you, Master, that I woke up so early and prepared a very special breakfast for you to start your day. Here's your tea, Master. Would you like for me to bring your breakfast in bed, or... You want another ten minutes in bed? But, Master, it's your very first day. You don't want to be late on your first day as the CEO, don't you, Master? It would set a bad example to your employees, as well as a negative first impression to them. The time... It's currently 8.22. Yes, Master, you are correct. Since you are the boss now, you just have to be there by 10. Of course, Master. I know that you still got plenty of time, but don't you have to do any preparations? Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. I've already prepared everything you requested. Well, you're right. There's actually not much things to do left except for breakfast. I understand. Alright then, Master. I'll leave you for a little while, but be sure to be conscious of the time, okay? We still need to leave the house at least quarter to ten. After all, it's at least twenty minutes drive to work. I will be in the kitchen for now. Let me know if you need anything. <clears throat> Master? What, what are you doing? Letting you stay in bed for a while is one thing, but dragging me with you is another. No, I, I don't hate it. It's just that it's making creases all over my newly steamed blouse. No, no, it's fine. No need to apologize, Master. I can just easily steam them again a bit later. It's no big deal. I guess you can say that I actually like snuggling with you like this. You don't need to thank me, Master. It's my job to take care of you. As your personal maid and secretary, it's my duty to assist you with everything. It's been... Seven years since I started this job and so far I have no complaints at all except you liking to snuggle me with every time you get the chance. <laughs> Master, I'm just kidding. Of course I don't complain about you doing that at all. I mean, I am personal assistant and... I am also your girlfriend at the same time. <laughs> Although we have been hiding that from the public for the last two years. <sighs> yes, and until now I still haven't gotten used to calling you by your name. I'm just really so used to calling you master that it's just hard to let go of it. Don't you like it, though, that I call you master? I mean, doesn't it have a nice ring to it? That it sounds like you always have the authority to do whatever you deserve of me. Of my body. Yes. 
sister. I really like it when you press your strong body against me. It feels so warm and I feel so safe because you are always there to protect me. And most of all, it makes me so excited that I want to do more than just cuddling with you. Oh, yes, semester. <laughs> Please hold me tighter. I don't care how many times I will have to steam the creases on my blouse. As long as I get to feel this feeling with you holding me like this. Your strong arms and your hairy legs wrapping around my thighs just feel so good that it makes my body so excited for you. What is it, master? <laughs> oh. oh my. You flatter me so much, master. I feel so smooth and soft, don't I? <laughs> I'm always so happy to hear your compliments, Master. You know, I never would have thought that I will find a man that will make me feel on top of the world so long after high school. I've always thought that I missed out so much back then as I didn't date anyone or was I interested when any of the guys will... My friends seem to be having so much time and having the time of their lives dating and feeling the excitements of being in love. Little did I know that I would meet the love of my life soon after high school when I applied for my very first job. Honestly, I didn't thought that I would ever be in love with you who's my master. Especially that you felt so harsh and bossy towards me as I wasn't doing very well in my first couple of years. But you were so patient and despite all of my mistakes, you didn't fire me. You gave me the chance to improve and grow with you. You even sent me to college classes which helped me with my managing of social skills and even learn few other languages and now I can confidently say that I am very capable of supporting you as the new chief executive officer <laughs> Master I know it might be a little weird and like to ask this all this time, but did you already had feelings for me when I just started this job? You don't have to answer if it's uncomfortable. I'll understand if you're uncomfortable about it. It's just that I've always wondered why, despite all of my incompetence, it's the start. You never gave up on me. Instead, you just taught me with things and even sent me to those expensive classes I could never afford, which of course helped me along the way, although I have to admit, you are very strict and I was always scared to mess up things. Oh, that's so generous of you, Master. I really am so lucky that I ended up working for you because you really do believe that I could do the job as long as you just train me well enough. <laughs> Master, you really are the best. <laughs> and I am even more in love with you. I'm even more in love.
with you now, master. Although, did you really have to mention about me being such a bomb? <laughs> yes, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of what I was doing. It wouldn't hurt to use a little bit of my strong attributes to my advantage. I mean, if you have it, then flaunt it. Just occasionally though, I mean, when I have to. <laughs> well, well, it worked and we both know that I really am beautiful, right, master? <laughs> and you have to admit having a gorgeous assistant next to you at all times turned out to be very useful in a lot of ways hmm? oh, I love you too master I love doing this with you I'm so in love Really feels so good when you spoon me like this. <sighs> yeah, it's so good. But you know what, Master? As much as I want to stay in bed and cuddle with you forever. I also don't want you to ruin your very first day as the CEO. So, here's one last kiss for you. Oh, that was a pretty long one. I was just thinking of a little back. <laughs> now let's get up, cause it's way past 10 minutes now and you still have breakfast to eat and I still have this blouse to steam. And of course, master, <laughs> we can continue this later tonight and I'll be sure to make it special, just like you. Soft kitty 